What's going on guys? So here I have a pack and play. I'll start off with the packs. Pack number one here. I open up and in this, in these packs, to be honest, I, this is a post commentary. I was hoping for another, like, not a first baseman. I don't know, but a catcher would have been good. And I get Yadier Molina in the first pack. And I have my uh, creative player at catcher right now. But I think I'm going to switch that. Maybe put my creative guy at short. Correa at third. Uh, let's get into pack number two. I see another silver. I get Brian McCann of the Yankees. Most likely going to be the backup. I like Molina more than... <coughs> oh, man. Sorry. I like Molina more than McCann. Uh, so, I think I'm going to use him instead. And then the last pack, nothing really comes up. Uh, so, let's get right into this gameplay. This guy had a pretty stacked team. I don't think this guy had a great team. He just had... He had a squad, to say the least. He had a squad, and it was not going to be easier for me to come out with the win. Uh, he starts off... I get three straight up. This pitcher that I have, this lefty, I'm a big fan of his. Uh, Matt Kane, I believe his name is. I'm not 100% sure on what his name is. Uh, but his release is just kind of deceptive. And if I had to make my creative guy uh, give him a release, I would probably give him Matt Kane just because I think it throws off uh, the defense. And there, Yadier Molina in his first ever at bat gets a base hit right up the middle. Bring up my creative player who walks to get runners on first and second for Mark Teixeira who strikes out, unfortunately. Uh, here we will move forward to the bottom of inning number five. Lorenzo Kane gets a base hit into the gap to get me a runner on first. Then I bunt with Carlos Correa, a great, a great bunt. And Nolan Ryan, of all people, the guy with the best, one of the best arms ever, overthrows it to first. I get a runner on third, second and third now, and get a clutch base hit. I was really struggling to hit Nolan Ryan in those first four innings. Like, I don't think I had many hits. Here I get caught in a rundown like an idiot and get tagged. Out, unfortunately, I was so mad at myself at that. And then somehow I'm safe at second. I don't know how, uh, but somehow I'm safe at second. There it does not make the nice strikeout with my pitcher, and the, and then ground out to second with Ichiro Suzuki to end the inning. Going into the top of inning number six, we freeze him, strike him out with the first half batter, and then he gets a very very deep fly ball, and that one will go over the fence for the home run, unfortunately. And then I get my ground ball to second, pick it up smoothly. I love the animation of the infielders in this game. I just find they look so realistic. Like, it's just cool. Um, I want to talk about some of my plans for MLB uh, before Madden comes out. I'm definitely going to be playing Average Rage Gamer. Uh, I'm sure you guys know who he is. Uh, I'm, I'm planning maybe a game later tonight against Mathin Man. He's a Twitch streamer. Uh, so I'm going to have lots of stuff like that going. If you didn't see it, I played Arios. And uh, see saying game, so I'm trying to play all the different commentators uh, just to really keep things fresh, give you guys new things to watch. Uh, there, I hit a deep fly ball with my uh, creative player, uh, and then my the guy on first gets kind of stuck in a run down. Then I strike out with Jason Hayward, but get a base hit up in the middle with Mark Teixeira. Very clutch to get me runners on first and second, but I need a clutch hit to bring them in. And Matt, or not, I just I say Mackie Lorenzo Kane grounds out to short for the out. So I'm back on the hill, and Paul Goldschmidt hits one into the game. Oh, another thing I wanted to say in this video is I have a group chat with all my subscribers. I'm not sure if you guys know. Uh, if you go in the description, we might do a fantasy football league. I don't know uh, with the group with that group. Uh, if you go in the description, there should be an option that says join group chat. And if you click that link and get the group me app, uh, you will be able to join my group chat. It's a it's pretty cool. Uh, I think you guys would. Uh, I think you guys would enjoy it. We just kind of talk about brands. It's not a 100% constant uh, message all the time. You can always mute it if you don't want to. Uh, but definitely, I want to get as many guys in there as possible. Uh, so, yeah, definitely check that out in the description if you want to join the group chat. I'm talking in there all the time. So, uh, there I get a pretty nice inning. I mentioned, and this guy, at the end of the game, we got into a little bit of a feud. He does not like me, this guy. I don't know what. So here's why. I, let me know in the comments if I'm in the wrong for this. I think I am in the wrong for this. But I think this guy was a little bit of a jerk about it. So I was uploading another video at the same time. The pack and play before this. I, I This is last night that I made this. Um, it'll be uploaded today. But I made this video last night. Um, so I was uploading the pack and play that you would have saw before this. And I, t I used that whole five minutes. Not the whole thing. Most of the five minutes to like get a thumbnail and stuff. And this guy got heated at me. Like, it got so... Here, I was talking about the game for a second. He gets a runner on third. Then he grounds out to short. I kind of wait him out. He decides to run home. And he doesn't even... And then, But we get him. 
at third. That was super clutch. So the score is still 2-1. Definitely still attainable. And we strike out Ted Williams. And throw it to second. and But he is safe at second. I thought that was a really close play. Thought we should have had that. And then... It, ground Ted Williams. Oh, I messed up. Ted Williams strikes out again, apparently. And we throw it on to first. Two get there. Then Yadier Molina gets frozen for Brett Barrett. Who hits a ground ball to second. He hits it so hard. Goes right through the second baseman's hand. So we have some life here. Possibility to maybe get another run in the bottom of the eighth. I steal second with ease because my guy's got like 150 speed. I don't know. He's got some crazy speed. But then I strike out with Jason Hayward, unfortunately, to bring up Will Clark, the pinch hitter. And he gets not really a base hit. He gets a ground ball. They miss throw it. And somehow I get it out of those rundowns after my terrible base running. Uh, to get runs off first and third. And then Lorenzo Kane. I thought that was going gap. When I first hit that, I got so hyped. I was like, oh, that's gap. And then nothing. Uh, so we'll go to the top inning number nine. And the score is 2-1. First is a ground ball to Carlos Correa, who is playing third. He throws it on to first to get the out. And then a little chopper back to the pitcher. I feel it nicely. Throw it to first. And now there are two out. But a two-out rally is coming. I I'm telling you, a two-out rally is coming. He gets a base hit right up the middle. And then I walk Nolan Arellano to get runners on first and second. And then Prince Fielder gets a nice base hit up the middle. And a run will score because I do not get a good animation with Ichiro at all. I got it home, however, so only one run scores. So runners on first and third. And then a base hit down the line. Like, really? Did that just happen? And now there are... Oh, but wait. We get the guy at third. I forgot I got that guy at third to end the inning. He scores two runs, though, so it's 4-1. George Brett flies out, and then my next guy grounds out. And then I end up getting called uh, for inactivity with the five-minute rule on the thing. And I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. But thank you guys very much for watching. If you want another pack and play, uh, please drop a like on the video. Sorry this wasn't my best commentary, but it is what it is. And I'll see you guys next video.